Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on change of order of integration part 4. In the first video, we saw a simple problem on the change of order of integration of a triangle. In the second problem, we saw a different triangle. In the third video, we solved the following problem which has two different regions in the triangle. Now in this session, I would have taken a different problem. See, you can easily guess it. In the previous video, we have integral 0 to 1, integral y to 2 minus y, x, y, dx, dy. And this problem is integral 0 to 1, x to 2 minus x, x by y, dy, dx. Now you would have already guessed what is the region, how the diagram would be. So for wantedly, I take this problem for your more understanding. Let us go into the problem guys. See here, the inner integral is dy and then the corresponding limits are x. So the problem is correct. So let us take capital I is equal to integral 0 to 1, integral x to 2 minus x, x by y, dy, dx. Now we are going for the step 2. That is we are going to find the equations. In the outer integral we have dx. So first we have to write the x limit 0 to 1. So x equal to 0 and y equal to 1. And then the inner integral y. So y equal to x and we have 2 minus x. y equal to 2 minus x. Simplifying this, I can write in an elegant way that is x plus y equal to 2. Now in this 2, I know only these two equations to draw. Let us consider I don't know both of these equations. So what I have to do? We have to find the point. So let us take this two equation which are unknown and here we see x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 are constant. So I will write this in both the equations. Now substitute x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 here. We will be getting y equal to 0 and y equal to 1. Similarly, if we substitute x equal to 0, we will be getting y equal to 2 and when you substitute x equal to 1, you will be getting y equal to 1. Therefore, the points are 0, 0, 1, 1 for this line. For the second line, we will be getting 0, 2, 1, 1. Now, step 3. The given order is dy dx. Y is the variable. So, the change of order is going to be dx dy. So, I just tell again this. The given order is dy. So, y strip bottom to top. Change of order is x strip. We are going to do left to right here bottom to top. Step 4. Let us draw the diagram. My first equation is y equal to 0 and the second one is y equal to 1. And very important students, we saw the third equation x equal to y as the points 0, 0, 1, 1. And the fourth equation x plus y equal to 2, we have the point 0, 2 and 1, 1. So here the point in the y axis is bigger. So that's why I am drawing y axis little bigger compared to x axis. All these things you have to keep in your mind. Okay, x equal to 0, the first line. And the second line, x equal to 1. Third line, I don't know, x equal to y. Let us think like this. The point given as 0, 0. Now let us take randomly, this is the equation x equal to 1. So the point will be somewhere here like 1, 1. Then what you have to do? We have to draw a line between these two points. You can see here x equal to y. The points are 0, 0, 1, 1. And the fourth line we can see x plus y equal to 2. The points are 0, 2 and 1, 1. So one point is already here, this is my 1, 1. 0, 2, suppose this point is 0, this point is 1. Roughly this point may be 2 in y axis. So now we have to draw a line here like this. Therefore, after drawing the line, mark the point 0, 2 and then write the equation x plus y equal to 2. As usual, these regions are open. Even the down triangle are open. So only one region which is closed is this triangle. You can see this triangle is closed because it is bounded by the red line which I draw. So this is the region we are going to find guys. And now my given order is dy dx. So y is a variable. We have a vertical strip guys. See here, if I draw the vertical strip, wherever I, I draw, it starts from x equal to y and it ends at x plus y equal to 2. That is our limit given in the question. So the given order is correct. Now, this is not my concern. I want to change the order. So given order dy dx, change of order is dx dy. Now the problem starts. Suppose I am taking and I am drawing the line from x equal to 0 to x plus y equal to 2. 
after this point as like the previous problem my horizontal strip will touch a new line these lines are not same only the left side line is same x equal to 0 the right side line is different for different places so up to this point it is going to be x plus y equal to 2 in the top and it is going to be x equal to y after the line therefore what we understand this is not a single region problem this is a double region problem so i have to split the region a line which passes through the point 1 comma 1 which split the problem exactly into two equal parts like this two so now take this as region 1 and this as region 2 find the limits find the integral so you get the answer so let us keep the diagram now i have to find the limits for region 1 as well as region 2 now region 1 as i said earlier when you deal with region 1 you have to add region 2 so we just add the region 2 now horizontal strip that is x is a variable horizontal strip means from left to right x equal to 0 to x equal to y done then y limits are constant the minimum value of y is 0 and the maximum value of y in this figure is going to be 1 so either you can see like this or like this so now y equal to 0 to y equal to 1 done guys next we are going for region 2 so when you write the limits for region 2 hide the region 1 that is good for you now here also we are horizontal strip so x equal to 0 to we have x plus y equal to 2 so x equal to 2 minus y this is going to be my x limit that is a variable limit now see what is the minimum value of y because y limit is going to be constant so i have to write the constant see the question the minimum value of y is 1 and the maximum value of y is 2 therefore y equal to 1 to 2 is the limit for region 2 so now we are done we found the limits guys next we are going to find the integration for the region 1 and region 2 and we are going to add it so now you understand the difference between this problem and the previous video now it's time to find i since we have two regions i am going to take i as i1 plus i2 i1 represent the double integral over region 1 and i2 represent the double integral over the r2 now substitute the corresponding limits for i1 and i2 it is ready so our job is to find the integration for i1 as well as i2 and when you add you will be getting the capital i that is my final solution let us go so now i am going to integrate with respect to x at that time y is constant so i'll keep y as it is integration of x is x square by 2 when i substitute the upper limit it is going to be y square by 2 lower limit is 0 now y y get cancel will be having y by 2 now take this 1 by 2 outside will be getting integral 0 to 1 y dy integration of y is y square by 2 when you substitute the upper limit it is 1 by 2 lower limit is 0 so 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 will be getting 1 by 4 therefore my first region i1 my answer is 1 divided by 4 next we have to find the second region the same integration only the limits are changing so now when you substitute 2 minus y in x square will be getting like this now expanding this will be getting 4 plus y square minus 4y now divide by y we will be getting 1 by 2 integral 1 to 2 4 by y minus 4 plus y next integrating this will be getting log y because integral 1 by y dy is going to be log y and then integration of 4 with respect to y is 4y and then for y is y square by 2 now we have to apply the upper and lower limit when you apply the upper and lower limit we will be getting 4 log 2 minus 8 plus 2 when you apply the lower limit we will be getting 4 log 1 minus 4 plus 1 by 2 and very important student here log means always we say it is base x unless otherwise the base is changed because i said in the previous problems also some book they use log x here for our understanding log x means log base e so now we know log 1 is 0 so i'll be taking minus 8 plus 2 minus into minus plus 
minus 1 by 2. Now, simplifying this, we will be getting 4 log 2 minus 5 by 2. Multiply this 1 by 2, then 2 to get cancelled, we will be getting 2 log 2 minus 5 by 4. This is my final solution. So, we found I1 and I2. Therefore, my capital I is 1 by 4 plus 2 log 2 minus pi by 4. So, 2 log 2, remember, b log a, I can write it as log a power b also. Nothing wrong in it. So, it will become log 2 square minus 4 by 4. You have to add this to 1 by 4 minus pi by 4. We will be getting minus 4 by 4. Log 2 square is 4. Therefore, my final solution, i is going to be log 4 minus 1. Why I choose this problem, student? You should not always think it should be a number. It need not to be number always. So, the answer is going to be log 4 minus 1. Hope you understand. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more and keep up the great work. Subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.